It might be weird to start this list with something that happened near the end of the concert, but it really bears emphasizing. For those who might not know what Sasaki Pro is, it's basically an ancient Momoklo reference where back in Momoklo's earlier career, uh, Arin, despite being the youngest member of the group, had a remarkable professional attitude and approach to her performances. If something were to go wrong or something were to slip up or whatever, Arin would qu quickly recover from it like it nothing happened. There is a small moment where something like that happens here. She seems to be having problems with her earrings being too loose through this section of the show, and during one of the songs, one of them falls out. She manages to continue singing, finds it, picks it up, and get to the next part of the stage during that song on time. It's a small moment, but it's a moment that is highly characteristic of Adin nonetheless. Ayaka Nation 2021 took place on June 27th, 2021. In Japan, this was a time of relative calm. As we can probably all remember, the corona pandemic was still in force around the world, but in Japan, new cases of it seemed to be in stagnation and began to decline pretty steadily over the course of that year's late spring through the summer. Of course, this would only be a light reprieve, as new cases would soar to record highs by fall of that year. But at this time, it was a time of relative quiet and optimism. It seemed well that Adin would be able to do an in-person live event this time, and so she did. Of course, there were some caveats. The capacity of Yokohama Arena needed to be limited to promote social distancing. And the big one being that people could not shout or cheer. Management got around this by having special pen lights for the audience that had recorded cheers on them so that the audience could use those recordings in lieu of their own voices. Throughout the concert, audience reactions are absolutely priceless, especially when the audience utilized them for the Wotage during her self-introduction. They put Adin's face on the art. That's really it. Near the end of the concert, when Adin and crew were getting ready for the encore, uh, a bunch of art pieces were shown with Adin's face put on them in their respective styles. It's really funny and a little terrifying at times, but it is fantastic either way. The concert's theme is based in the fine arts. There are four main sets of this live, not counting the encore, where each section is introduced by a short VTR showing Adin standing in front of four blank paintings, looking at them with an announcer talking over it, all while fairly stereotypical classical music is being played over it. What's remarkable about it though, is that each painting has a specific theme that is actually hinted at by the costume Adin dons for that section of the live. So if you are a person who is familiar with the fine arts, unlike me, perhaps you would have fun trying to guess which painting would be revealed at the end of each set. It's a really creative aspect of the live and really gives off a sense of progression, almost as if the concert is somehow mission-based, calling to mind the interactions with paintings you would have in Super Mario 64. Vapid gaming references aside, I really do like how they managed to integrate the fine arts theme into the concert itself. 
I was really impressed with how simple each VTR was and how each set had its own color schemes meant to match what painting would be revealed. It's really great. The set list is something we really haven't seen from an Ayaka Nation concert before. While we do have more fiery and intense moments in this concert like any other, I couldn't help but to come away from the experience of this set list as feeling like it was generally more relaxed than any of the previous concerts we've gotten. I would actually argue that the first set of this concert being nearly all acoustic had a quality worthy of being featured as part of the soundtrack for a Studio Ghibli film. Of course, that's thanks to the amazing performances done by Adin and her team of musicians. They really helped to make these concerts incredible. The lack of super high energy songs in general from this set list was probably to help avoid accidentally incentivizing people to shout along with the songs, which actually goes extremely well with the fine arts theme since you don't typically shout in an art museum or exhibit. But the relaxed feeling you get from this concert is definitely remarkable. Each song is meant to go along with the theme of each painting, and the fact that this was all put together by Adin makes it even more impressive. There isn't a single song out of place in any part of the set list, and every performance is executed so well, it's hard to imagine how this could be topped. As with Achaneru, sometimes some of the best works of art or media in general are made through having restrictions imposed on them, and here just continues to prove that hypothesis correct. Ayaka Nation 2021 as an overall package is very, very unique. A lot of the previous Ayaka Nation lives that we looked at before had certain memes, certain things that would continue from the previous one. Every Ayaka Nation up until this point had Adin playing guitar at one point, for example. That's not here. Uh, every Adin, or uh, every Ayaka Nation concert had that funny animation thing with that guy where she, Adin Robo, beats him up, or you know the the marker on the whiteboard thing, you know Adin uh, Daigaku or something like that. And those aren't there either. This is all very much more music centered than really anything else. There isn't much in the way of giving. I mean, of course playing guitar right isn't not music centric but the extra things that we might have been used to from the previous concerts aren't here anymore and i think that's probably what really helps to set this concert apart from the others it's more to the point and that's not to say that the other concerts are bad because they're not like this because that is far from the case as most of us would know However, I do think that at the same time, there is a certain level of, I don't know, ma not maturity, but there is definitely something in uh, some maturity, at least in the performance of Odin here, because of the more do like low-key songs that, that are being used here. Uh, we don't have as much in the way of crazy choreography or anything like that, and Adin can focus on her um, her vocal performance. And because of that, I really do feel like there is we do we can derive a a sense of growth from Adin because of that in terms of her maturity as a an aspiring or really a music artist. She is definitely showing a lot of her best qualities as a performer here and I really do like that aspect of that here. Ayaka Nation 2021 is 
a concert that I've been trying to make a video on for a while. And uh, finally being able to do it is has been great. Uh, being able to watch it, there, there's something really, really great and special about this one. And I think this one was made available to people outside of the fan club, I think, for the first time since, like, the first live, I'm pretty sure. Uh, or it, Well, no, the first two, I think. So since the 2017 live. And so because of that, I think uh, this one is definitely worth checking out if you can find a copy of it. It's it's probably one of Odin's finest performances. I mean, she puts on great performances in all of them, though, right? So it's not really saying a whole lot, I suppose. But at the same time, each of these concerts have some, has something so unique to them. And this one feels extremely unique, even coming from the Achaneru Achan one or, or whatever. I don't know. It's something else. It's amazing how each of these can have their own separate identities that really separate them even though you know she she's performing not a lot of the same songs but you know they share a lot of songs and all that fun stuff but this is definitely one worth checking out i highly recommend it i can't recommend it enough but that is my conclusion Ayaka Nation 2021 is fantastic and it's definitely worth checking out hope you enjoyed this